Hi, welcome to Cal Poly's Cal State Apply tutorial series. In this video, we'll be covering the college coursework tile in the academic history quadrant. Before we begin entering coursework, let's take a look at some of the classes I've already added. I started with my first year in college, making sure to enter the correct course code, as well as the course title, credit or unit value, grade, and indicate that the course is transferable. If you've taken a non-transferable course, such as the English support course here, you would simply enter all of the information, but leave the transferable box blank. Hi all, I'm gonna pop in for a brief commercial break and some clarification on this step. If you're not sure if your course is transferable or not, here are a couple tips. If you're a California Community College student, you can turn over your transcript, you can look up your school's course catalog, or you could use assist.org. You should be able to see based on the numbering convention of your coursework whether that course is CSU transferable or not. You'll see here at Allen Hancock College anything course number 100 through 199 can transfer to the CSU system. Over at Cuesta anything 200 to 299 is transferable. Above or below that not so much. If you're out of state, you can still use this as a general guideline. Things that are non-transferable are going to be courses that are remedial in nature, like an introduction to, to college math or pre-algebra. For our first-time freshman applicants, you can go ahead and assume that anything you're taking that is dual enrollment or getting you concurrent enrollment credit at your high school is going to be CSU transferable. It's not that big of a deal for our freshman applicants, but for our transfer applicants, it is essential to make sure you are properly labeling your courses as transferable or not. If you have questions about this step, you're not sure about a specific course, reach out to our office. We're happy to dig in and give you a little bit more guidance on this. All right, Cody, back to you. If you have repeated a course, such as here with Physics 205A, you'll indicate the grade as RP. This is only if you have completed the course again and have a new grade, such as I have here in the following summer term. If you've not completed the course for, for a new grade yet, you will input the original grade like I did here with Psychology 201. I've received a D the previous spring, and the course is in progress for the current fall semester, as you can see here. Now I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to enter a course. Simply click add a course and fill in the appropriate fields. Most California Community College courses will display an option to choose. Credit or unit value already populated. Now I'll indicate my grade, which is actually in progress or planned. So I'll click save and I'm all done with that. Once that term is complete, I'll add a semester. To add a semester, check out which term you're going to be taking courses, the year, and your status at the time. This will be a planned course. Then I would go through the process of adding a course just as I demonstrated. Once you are all done, simply click the college coursework tile again, scroll down, and indicate you have completed entering information on your transcript. Click save. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck. 